Hamlet is the Prince of Denmark. His father was the king, but he died before the play begins. Hamlet's uncle, Claudius, has taken over as king and married Hamlet's mother, Gertrude. At the beginning of the play, a ghost appears to some soldiers. He looks just like Hamlet's father, the dead king. The soldiers agree to tell Hamlet all about it. Claudius tells Hamlet he has to stop acting so sad about his father's death. Hamlet says he will. But when he's by himself, he says he's disgusted that his mother married Claudius. Hamlet's girlfriend is Ophelia. Her father, Polonius, and her brother, Laertes, try to convince her that Hamlet doesn't love her. They point out that because he's a prince, he can't marry whoever he wants. They think he's more likely to seduce her than marry her. Ophelia agrees not to talk to Hamlet any more. Hamlet sees the ghost who says he is Hamlet's father. He also says that Claudius murdered him by pouring poison in his ear. Hamlet swears to take revenge. He mentions to the soldiers that in future he may find it useful to act as if he's crazy. Ophelia tells her father that Hamlet came to see her after she returned his love letters and he seemed insane. His clothes were messed up, he was trembling and pale, and he looked scared. Polonius now thinks Hamlet really did love Ophelia, and he's gone mad because she rejected him. Claudius and Gertrude ask Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, some friends of Hamlet's from school, to spend time with him and try to find out why he's been acting crazy. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern try to cheer Hamlet up by telling him that a group of actors has arrived at the castle. Hamlet decides he'll have the actors perform a play that mimics the murder of his father. He wants to see if Claudius reacts to it and shows his guilt. He says the ghost might actually be a lying devil. Claudius's reaction to the play will clear up the mystery. Claudius, Gertrude and Polonius want to test the theory that Hamlet is acting crazy because he's lovesick, so they spy on a meeting between Hamlet and Ophelia. Hamlet is very nasty to Ophelia and tells her she should go become a nun. After hearing this, Claudius decides Hamlet is not in love. He does think Hamlet's obsessed with something, and since he thinks Hamlet poses a threat to him, he decides to send him to England. That evening, the actors perform the play Hamlet requested. When Claudius sees a scene where a king is murdered by having poison poured in his ear, he becomes so upset that he gets up and leaves. Hamlet sees this reaction as proof that Claudius did indeed murder his father. When Claudius is by himself, he admits he murdered Hamlet's father. He tries to pray for forgiveness, but he can't seem to make himself do it. Hamlet comes into the room behind him with a sword, but he decides not to kill him because he thinks Claudius will go straight to heaven if he dies while he's praying, and he wants him to go to hell. Hamlet goes to see his mother, not knowing that she has given Polonius permission to hide behind a tapestry and listen to their conversation. Hamlet makes her sit down and tells her she's not leaving until he shows her how bad she really is. Gertrude gets frightened and calls out for help. Hearing her, Polonius calls out for help too, and Hamlet, thinking it's Claudius behind the tapestry, stabs Polonius through the cloth and kills him. <laughs>